Right then, ladies and gentlemen, pretty massive news, actually, in the world of HBO Max's The Batman TV series. And th this is huge news. One I wasn't expecting uh, at all. And I don't think anyone else was. This was not something... Well, this has come out really left field, uh, let's be honest. Uh, it was initially reported that it was going to be a Gotham PD, Gotham Central. Um, now, it's the James Gordon show instead. So, okay. That's a complete turnaround, but not terrible. Not terrible, but it is a complete turnaround. And it also flies in the face of what we already knew about this TV series, which was... Uh, you know, it'd be focused... Well, I guess it doesn't fly in the face, but we'd learned that it was going to be following, you know, absolute police corruption, things like this. Uh, so maybe, I guess, focusing on Gordon, focusing on him, his interaction with other police, them being corrupt and him taking them down, potentially, that's what it's going to be? I don't know. Let's uh, Let's dive into what we do now know, and then let's get some thoughts on it. Before we do, ladies and gents, just to let you know... Uh, I have memberships open on the channel. Please do support the channel further if you want. They're, they're open for as little as 99 pence. Uh, so it's a great way to access some benefits as well as supporting the channel. We've got Patreon linked down below in the description box. And ladies and gents, for a very limited time, in fact only another two weeks, uh, I am selling my Blu-ray for my film Black Fields. The film's on there, the prequel is on there, as well as an hour-long documentary, the soundtrack, as well as concept art. So check it out. We've only got 100 left, so please do go and grab one now this is on fat man beyond podcast okay and well basically one of the writers uh ed brubaker shared what he knew of the batman spin-off series for hbo max so interesting now he's he's just a comic book writer he is not uh, someone involved in this particular series uh, directly but he still does know about it. So that's uh, that's the fascinating part. Let's break down this article bit by bit, and then we'll round out with some thoughts. So Warner Brothers is clearly confident that fans will embrace Matt Reeves' vision for the DC Universe in The Batman, because a small screen spin-off is already in the works for HBO Max, and that showed great confidence from the off, actually. They announced that literally straight away. And I think that's great. I am... Um one of the few shouting in a crowd of negativity that I think the Batman will be really, really good. I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, I genuinely am. Uh, and I think it will surprise a lot of people. So I'm really looking forward to that. And I'm really looking forward to this. Just because it's an expansion and because this seems to be one of the only things that Warner Brothers has confidence in. And I, and I want that to be good. Like, I really do. So Joe Barton... Uh, of the ritual is the current showrunner after some creative differences behind the scenes and it's been revealed that the plan is for the series to take place during batman's year one in gotham city so he's going to be sort of cameoing here and there and that was what initially we thought that gordon would be as well he just cameo but no again that seems to be not happening now so that likely means the dark knight will have a role to play which again we've already heard cameo but as little more than a myth at this stage, he'll probably be somewhere in the background. The focus will primarily be on the Gotham City Police Department, with Reeves confirming that it takes place from the point of view of a corrupt cop. So that's what we already knew. But then this has come out. So appearing on Kevin Smith's Fat Man Beyond podcast, the Gotham Central writer Ed Brubaker shared... Well, he's been told about this untitled series, and he seems confident that Jeffrey Wright's Jim Gordon will be the key. I was like, maybe they're really going to make Gotham Central this time. And so I reached out to a producer who works for Matt Reeves, and he says, no, no, that's not really Gotham Central, Brubaker revealed. They're making sure that they don't call it Gotham Central, probably for licensing and rights, I would imagine, maybe. And it's more of a spin-off from the movie it's like the james gordon show right okay so what we have yeah what we have here is matt reeves confirming gonna take place from the point of view of a corrupt cop the james gordon show though from one of the producers now this is not confirmed okay this is a writer a comic book writer reaching out to a producer and basically saying, hey, 
can I get involved in this, please? Because it looks like you're adapting something that I have written. Essentially, right? You know, that, that this is what Ed Brubaker has written, Gotham Central. He reached out under the proviso that, yeah, look, hey, it, it sounds like you're actually going to be making Gotham Central. Let's just, just ah, let's jump in there. Let's get involved. Uh, and the producer could be turning around to him and saying, nope, that's not what it's going to be like because he doesn't want him involved. Like, for whatever reason, uh, it could be a licensing issue. Maybe he has to downplay it. Uh, maybe he doesn't want to pay royalties. There is all number of reasons why a producer could potentially downplay this uh, to a writer, right? A comic book writer who you know, has written something which he believes is being adapted. But let, let's take it on face value. Let's say it is going to be more like the James Gordon show, which is what he says categorically. It's like the James Gordon show. But it's going to be from, from the point of view of a corrupt cop. Now, Jeffrey Wright is no stranger to doing series format. Uh, he, you know, he, he's done Westworld. Um... So he's no stranger to doing that as a format structure for media. No issue with that at all. I I can believe that he would uh, pop in there. I believe that he uh, he could jump in and and him being he's not he's not really a star, but him being of the celebrity that he is, I don't think that's going to downplay or put foul to this rumor that it's the James Gordon show. But because it's from the point of view of a corrupt cop, would it be James Gordon? No. No, nah, it can't be. It won't be. Uh, it won't be Gordon that's the corrupt one. If it is, that will be massively surprising. Uh, hugely surprising, in fact. I really doubt it'll be James Gordon. But if it's from the point of view of a corrupt cop and telling his life and interacting with James Gordon, maybe it's his partner. Yeah, it could be. That could work. That could work really, really nicely. So there's all manner of things that I think that this could go down. But I really quite like this idea. I think this is positive. Uh, I don't hate this at all. I think having Jeffrey Wright in there could be really, really decent, to be honest. Um, him being the moral compass of the show. Uh, corrupt cop gets all tangled. And, you know, having Jeffrey Wright there, Batman, in year one. That's our sort of gateway to seeing Batman as a cameo here, there, and everywhere. So what do you guys think? Let me know down below. I think this is great in terms of the confidence that Warner Brothers finally has in something. So let me know what you think down below in the comment section. If you're new here, do hit subscribe. Hope you're all having a fantastic Sunday. I've been Mr. H. Take care.